Hey, media! How about another Carrie Lake one-two punch? <laughs> Greetings, and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura DeGottis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. This week's video, as promised, is going to be a little ditty about Carrie Lake. She's someone that has become quite the hero to the Republican Party and has been endorsed by President Trump. She's going to be, or trying to be, the governor of Arizona, or the new governor of Arizona. She's running on free and fair elections, closed borders, and no grooming of children, and also no CRT in schools. Uh, probably trying to go back to some of our uh, better values, I guess you could say. Not sexualizing children is a good one. And of course, illegal immigration has been a subject for years and years and years. And she's right there, so she should know. In fact, I think she's trying to get, or going to get, with the new governor of Texas, which I hope is wheels again, even though I don't like him that much. He's way, way better than the alternative. And he seems to care more about Texans than Beto does. But that's for another video. <laughs> But she's become my hero because mainly because of the way that she is able to handle the press. Now, a lot of people are calling her the female Trump. I don't think so. She's not that arrogant. She's also not that abrasive. Uh, a lot of times when she tells... Now, she's actually not hold, held back lately because it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. The more polite she is, the more they seem to try to pounce on her. So she hasn't been as polite lately, but she still hasn't been as abrasive as most people would say Trump is about this. She hasn't pointed her finger in anyone's face and said, you're fake news or anything like that. In fact, most of the time when she insults people and she sends them to hell, they enjoy the trip. Now, everybody probably has seen this by now. Hi, Harry. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Can I walk and see you You don't have a mask on anymore. Uh, What's going on? We're outside. Do you have a wow. minute to well, chat? Well, we're six feet apart. <laughs> Do you have a minute to chat? Um, I'll do an interview. Okay. As long as it airs on CNN Plus. Oh. Does that still exist? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think so, because the people don't like what you guys are peddling, so, which is propaganda. Thank you. you. Do you <laughs> of course, you noticed in the corner there that they had a little still frame with the date on it from the last time that this person uh, was interviewed or tried to interview Carrie Lake and I'm not surprised that Carrie Lake would no, would not do another interview with her based on the last one that we saw which I'll show you in, I'll show you in just a minute but it's surprising to me that someone like this particular reporter would actually come back for more abuse and I'll show you how Carrie Lake owned her the first time, almost a year ago now. We, we have a grassroots campaign right now, and you don't ask me about that. It's, it's, it's Katie Hobbs gonna go to prison? It's like, this is what's wrong with our media. You guys are pushing a narrative. You know that Joe Biden didn't win by 81 million votes. I do know he won. By 81 million votes, you really need to put down the crack pipe, Hunter's crack pipe. You really believe Joe Biden won by 81 million votes? There, there is no proof behind most of the stuff you've tweeted about the election. Yes, there is. You're just not, you're not opening your eyes because every, it's a fraud, it's not an audit. Everything, if, if, I can't understand you with that mask on. If you want to have a conversation without the mask on, I'm happy to, but I, I, I seriously can't hear you. Carrie Lake is now being accused of being a hypocrite because of the fact that she was a fan, supposedly, of some popular drag queen out there in Arizona for the last decade. In fact, this said said drag queen is actually claiming that Kari Lake and he have been friends, or that Kari Lake has been his customer for almost 10 years, even to the point of hiring him to perform at her home for her children. Personally, I think this is bullshit, and of course, how convenient for this particular person to say this at this time when these kinds of things are actually going on. Um, it doesn't sound to me like as if Kari actually let these folks, let this person uh, near her children. However, as an adult, it doesn't matter what she went out and did. Not to mention the fact that I do believe that 
when she worked for the newscast and everything like that, she probably had it in her contract that she had to cover this person. And I'm sure that they were amicable, they're both human beings, and she was covering him, she wasn't actually trying to, it didn't seem like she was actually trying to belittle him, ridicule him, or anything like that. In fact, if she was covering him, that probably made him as popular as he is now. So, not to mention the fact, like I say, all the time, you know, they talk about hiring. It sounds to me like some media outlet out there gave him money to lie for them. But I'm going to show you how she takes Brett Bear apart at the seams for even thinking about asking about it, especially when there's so much more important things to literally talk about. Let me just ask you one thing. Uh, obviously, as a candidate, you come under scrutiny. The Washington Post has a story today. It says Arizona GOP candidate who criticized drag queens was once a fan, according to a drag queen. This is the quote. Arizona GOP gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake, who has attacked drag queens as dangerous to children, attended the shows of drag queen Richard Stevens for more than 20 years and once hired him to perform at her home. Do you care to address that? I do care. I actually do care to address that, and I'm really shocked. I'm actually appalled that Fox News would take defamatory story like that, and we are pursuing legal action against this drag queen. I'm appalled that you would bring that up when you have not talked about our stolen election. You failed. We just to talk spent about three that. questions, Ms. Lake, talking about this. I just you asked haven't. you a number of questions about it. I played the Arizona this House speaker. This is the first of let's it. Address, this let's address this it. story that's in the Washington Post. Every candidate takes wow. tough stories. I'm asking you to I'm, respond I'm to it to if you'd like it. to. I'm happy to address it, but I, I'm really disappointed in Fox. I thought you were a little better than CNN. <laughs> this is a person who I covered for decades, for decades, 20 years, and he's never been in my home. He says he's been in my home for a drag show. That's ludicrous. He's never been in my home. He's lied. We tried to serve him defamation papers. Okay. And he's so shady that we can't even track him down because he's not even welcome at the places what that if, he works. I'm sorry, but this is the last question I'm going to ask. What about these pictures of you with him, Richard Stevens? R Brent, and the what about the, is, the post? I've performed for Carrie's birthday. I've performed in her home. That's not I've true. I've performed for her at that's some of true. the seediest bars in Phoenix. I don't want to ask these questions. I ask you to address them. I, that's actually, it. Actually, I think you, I think you do want to ask them, but you don't want to ask about 2,000 mules. I think you do want to ask about this. This is absolutely ludicrous. I'm, I'm talking about drag shows in schools. This is what triggered this man. Somebody who goes to a drag show with female impersonators is one thing. We don't want our tax money going into drag shows at school. Okay, I understand and what you're making a difference the there, but you're I'm saying his allegations yeah. are wrong, is They're what false. you're saying. Yes, okay. I am. Right. And I'm really, I'm really appalled that you would spend time on a false story like that. It's shocking. Well, I think it's, you it's, didn't ask, it's important you didn't ask to have opponent. candidates address things that are coming up that might affect uh, a race. Truly. And I thought you would but appreciate that. you didn't that. ask my opponent, the establishment opponent who was here last week, you didn't ask her about her votes to allow illegal alien students to get a lower tuition than American students. You didn't ask her about okay. the 70 plus times that she raised tuition on American students. You didn't ask her any tough questions. That's and not here true. you have me on and you try to bring a defamatory story out. It's really sad. I Ms. thought Lake, there was hope. I really appreciate your time. Uh, we thought we'd address all issues that are on the table. That is one of them being covered today. Uh, we thank you and we'll cover the primary thank August you. 2nd. Thank you. Please send reporters out to cover this corrupt election. We would appreciate it. Thank you. This particular clip actually comes on the heels of the first clip that I showed you where she embarrassed Miss La again. Once again, go for it, Carrie Lake. I love what you're doing. A lot of other people love what you're doing, no matter how much they try to convince everybody that nobody believes you and that nobody is behind you. It sounds to me like you are winning and they're going to try and do anything in their power by any means necessary to beat you. So please, make sure that if you're in Arizona, try and do something about um, supporting Kari Lake. If nothing else, she's doing a very good job in filleting the mainstream media. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for your support. Don't forget, every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern, the Talk To Me America show where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. 
I'll share some news stories with you, I'll share some memes and some funny things with you that I can find throughout, and I'll show you some wacky stuff. I also adore wacky fashion. So if you get anything that you'd like me to cover, make sure that you let me know. My email is in, uh, is down below. So are all the links to all of the alternative media sites that I have to go to now because you do know that YouTube has kicked me off twice now. And of course you know that once they kick you off once, they're going to keep kicking you off no matter what. Uh, in fact, they kicked me off for the exact same reason as they kicked me off the first time. I'm only done, f I'm only in jail for a week, but you never know. They might find something that I posted two years ago that they absolutely abhor and then bye bye goddess. And of course, a like, a subscribe, a comment, and a share would be awesome. Also, a donation would be the ultimate. All my links are below for everything. Click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time, AMF.